Right, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, I didn't quite code for that. Hey guys, this is Tick Hazard in Robot Studio. I don't know if you can see that, but I've been messing around with bezel curves. I've finally figured out how to do them. As you can see here, I've got uh, a bunch of them sort of uh, morphing around. I've also got it sort of changing colour and material, where it's going through the whole list of uh, colours and materials for the uh, bricks and things. So yeah, I'm um, eventually be possibly be making either a demo out of this or as the name of my uh, my game I'm going to develop this into that uh, plant thing that I'm thinking about doing with uh, that 3D uh, cinematic thing that I'm thinking about doing I'll show you the code it's a bit messy <laughs> so basically all I'm all I'm doing there is using the code from a laser gun to get the point point A to point B for the different segments like uh, we got 20 segments per worm and we've got five worms so a little bit complex <laughs> let's actually let's actually do that and then play yeah so all I'm doing is just updating the weights in a bezel curve which is basically these things like what you see in Photoshop where this has only got uh, four points and in my code I got four points there we go and I'm updating it per uh, for the worms or should I say the string things <laughs> so that's how I'm updating it just in creating the initial table then I'm just assigning those values to all the worms to start with so they all merge come out from one point and then this is just a random position that's how I'm get, getting the points between the uh, different bits when it changes and then my custom fu function which I'm thinking about changing making it uh, tween between two pieces uh, between two positions at the moment it's not tweening or should I say in betweening <laughs> at the moment I don't know quite know how to do that but the code the bezel code that I'm using here isn't really my code it's just something I found online and just converted it over from JavaScript or was it C++ I can't remember it's one of those two and I just converted it over to Lua and that's it there that little function so you pass the what the index is position one or should I say the start point then we got weight one position weight two position and end point and that's all that is and we just uh, do a bit of math there and just return a vector back from that function I kind of understand what it's doing but I don't know quite get my head around the maths because it's uh, dealing with vectors, vector maths and I'm not that good at it <laughs> but I obviously understand it otherwise you wouldn't see this video so <laughs> yeah so that's basically just creating a lot of bricks there we go and clearing out that group each cycle it goes through so it looks like it's updating it's actually creating a new brick every time let's actually change that so it only updates the material every so often let's comment that bit out that's the bit that does the uh, random stuff let's actually put this uncomment this bit here so this should change every five seconds all right here we go uh yes i didn't quite code for that it's sort of uh because the that's actually quite nice I like that it's sort of changing but once it gets to zero 
because the for loop's going really really quickly it does a couple of uh, cycles oh we've got neon let's increase the number of worms we got I won't put out too much because uh, the f I've just started recording this just now and it uh, start and it sort of crashed on me as I don't think robots like worms that's another thing that you can add to this list from worms to viruses to oh blowing why did I put a 50 there <laughs> to whatever all right here we go 10 worms yeah so eventually what I'm hoping to do with this is rather than messing about with the uh, materials and color I thought maybe have the start points in fact I might be able to do that where it sort of starts off from one point and then it sort of uh, grows out and then starts wiggling as if it's in the wind kind of like if I can actually find the example that I was doing a while ago <clears throat> let's have a look at the archive see if I can show you guys uh, let you guys see what I mean grass this might be very very laggy because I was doing it the hard way <laughs> not using better curves it's just using I think body forces and if I remember correctly I think body gyro here we go oh there we go as you can see it's really laggy I sort of quit uh, gave up on this idea because as you can see it's really laggy at the moment they should change the direction of the map come on you're going to change direction thank you <laughs> so yeah instead of doing it the way I've done it there I think I've got a body force in the top and set the uh, the up force to something really high and then I'm just adding a stray value to the x and z for all of those let's have a look how did I do that yeah this is a long time since, I've, since I looked at this again so I'm using glue to actually stick them together yeah body force and body gyros that's what's making it making it really laggy in the example that I've just done today I'm animating 10 worms and how many have I am I animating there let's have a look two four I should play again I can't count quite a view so that's one two three four five ten fifteen twenty twenty five see if we can animate 25 worms in my new thing 25 play still a little bit laggy but not as laggy as the other one and I think we've got some graphic graphical glitches there let's decrease the segment count let's say six count for that there we go there we go 25 worms animating really quickly so yeah I guess uh, watch this space and see what I can make out of these and I never thought I'd get my almost get my head around the uh, better curves how to do them because I've been playing around with them in Photoshop for so long I think ever since I started picked up uh, Photoshop or first come across anyway this is uh, being together in Robot Studio and I catch you guys later together signing out